Certainly no fun being sick, especially if someone is trying to hold you down and force some medicine down your throat. That doesn't sound too appealing, does it? Well, that's exactly how your pet feels when they're sick and you're trying to give them medication. Try to give them medication without hurting them or yourself, for that matter. Joining us now with some tips on medicating your pet is Dr. Jim Berg from the Animal Veterinary Center, along with Dylan, the big guy. <laughs> Boy, he's growing up all the time. Yes, he is. Tell us about uh, trying to give uh, trying to give your pet some well, medicine. Have, have that you they ever need. tried to give your dog a tutty? Yes. Oh, he doesn't like it. You he know, you try and like open it. up the mouth and you well, put a squirt. This it's just crazy. Well, one of the things you want to do is pick an area of the house if that's where you're going to give it that's fairly quiet, because the dogs can sense when you're nervous and upset. Imagine if your mother comes to you and says, take this pill. Right. Or versus, take this pill. Big difference. Also, they know when you're trying to give them medication. They do. They yeah. can sense it. Right. Like, what, what's, he, what's daddy doing with that? Uh-oh. Right. Here he goes. I'm going to run. So it's not a bad idea to take the medicine out, maybe even the night before. Right. Put it on the counter so they don't look like you're going to get the ear wash. Yeah. Oh, well, well, he's going to get their ear wash and right. running for the door. Right. And they run for the door. But basically, you want to look at the label uh, mm -hmm. very carefully. You can see this label here. It says it has Dylan's name on it. And believe me, we've had some people that have given people medicines to dogs, that's not a good thing. Um, but it also says instructions. Give one peanut daily to make Dylan big and strong. That's what this says. And that's, uh, that's been working pretty good here <laughs> from what I can tell. So we're using pills. These are a, a, a basic a pill. So I'm going to show you how I give a pill to a dog. All right, Dylan, let's turn around over here a little bit. Basic have a big guy. Now, what you want to do is hold the pill between your, your fingers. Mm -hmm. I'm right-handed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the muzzle. Okay. And then... Pull down in the right. front with your finger, uh -huh. put it in the back. In the back of the throat. Shut, and you wait. Really, you close their mouth for them. Right, you close their mouth for them and you hold it up slightly. If you let their head go down. They'll spit it out. They'll usually go, they'll look at you and then it'll be on the floor. You, and, I noticed you didn't rub the uh, the, the back of the, the front of his throat like this to force it down. There's usually it. no need. If you there's get really, it put in the back of the throat. All the way in the back. That's the key. Now there are some tools you can use to help you. This is a real, interesting little tool here, which is a, uh, oh, Dylan likes it, it's a pillar. Right. And you can see there's a plunger on the back of it that goes in and out. When you put the pill in. You would use this for pills as well. Yes, indeed. And, and this allows you to put it in the back of the throat. See, these pills aren't real good because they're peanuts and Dylan would eat them without. Yeah, he likes but to here, eat. But here we have the pill. Mm -hmm. And then if you pull the plunger. Right. Then it loosens and it falls out. Oh, so, well, he's got, he's got, he's doubling he up on his it. medication. He likes it. You, what happens if you have to do, for example, eye drops or ear drops? Sometimes eye drops dogs can be a challenge. Uh, yes, they can. Eye drops, basically, you want to be sure, follow the instructions. This says for the eye. If you put ear drops in the eye, you've Not got good. a big problem. Not so good. make sure it's for the eye, make sure it's for the dog. Mm -hmm. And what you'd like to do with the eye drops is come up from behind. Let's, I've got to get this open. Now, does he need this? This, this is actually just some water. Okay, well, we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend okay. that it's not. Oh, there, there you go. There we go. Anyway. Okay. So, what you want to do is you don't want to come from the front because when you come from the front, they're going to back up. Yeah, they know something's come going on. Come from behind. So, you come from behind the with head. With the drop. Can you, can you swing them around? Sure. Yeah, let's swing them around so, so that Dad okay. can get a All picture right, of what you say. Now, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold him here and come from behind with the drops, hold his head, mm -hmm. and, and what you want to do is pull the, with your thumb down here. Excuse me, I, I'm, I'm going to have to switch. That's my problem. There you are. I'm right-handed. <laughs> so hold it, pull down, you make a little sack. See how there's a little sack that you make to put yeah. the eye drops in? Now he's squinching his eye down. We're going to pull it and let the drop fall down into the eye. You should also recommend that you should try warming the, the, the solution before right. you put it in the Some eye. Some of them you put in the refrigerator and they, when they're cold they don't feel good. No, they wouldn't. Also, if you put one in the eye and you're not sure you got it in, it's usually okay to put a second or third drop in that eye. Right. Uh, so when in doubt, put another drop in the eye. Check with your veterinarian on all these medicines. You want to make sure you're giving them according to the label. Let's talk about some of the advice that we recommend we give uh, viewers around home when, when, they're, when they're putting in, giving the dog the medication. You suggest what? Finding a, a safe place, a quiet place. Right. A high place also if you If you recommend? have a small animal, like right. a cat is ideal, you can get it, first off, get a helper to help you. It's get, a whole lot a, easier. Right. You also mentioned getting restraint, like a muzzle of some kind? Yep. And they make muzzles uh, for cats and for dogs. Will it allow you to cover their face if they get really apprehensive about it? Why a slippery surface? Well, because both the dogs and the cats tend to get nervous and dig their claws in, mm. and it makes it easy to escape if they've got a rug to pull against 
where the, and when you elevate them up off the ground, it usually will intimidate them a little bit, though Dylan would be hard to elevate up right. off the ground. A towel for cats, we can understand why, can because of the them. claws? Right, you wrap them, plus they feel a little more safe. They're when snug, they, warm. So right, like a, they're just kind of right. confined, and, and a lot of cats do feel a little safer in that situation. Dogs, you can use the same thing. You can wrap them, and they won't be able to flail their feet around nearly as much. Mm. But again, get your helper. And this all starts in an early age, Greg. You want to get your dog used to things like handling their mouths, feeling with their ears. And, and rubbing or right. cleaning out the, and, the, the mucus. And, and sometimes one final thing around is obedience training. This is one thing where obedience training helps. And the reason is when you're confronting the dog with medicine, you you need to be in control. You need to be the one in charge. If short. you're not in control, then they take off and it's much harder to give the medicine. Good to see you again as always. Thank you. All right, Dr. <laughs> Jim Berg, thanks for joining us. More information on what he told you and information on how to give your pet the medication they need, log on to our website, cna.tv slash your morning. Connie, over to you. All right, thanks, Greg. Much more still to come for you this morning. The summer's fun and flirty fashions are right here. Find out how you can bring back the sundress, beautiful sundresses, in fact, in your wardrobe when we come back. Stay with us.